before it's too late. And it seems history is about to repeat itself in Brazil. Despite the fact humanity has all but destroyed the Atlantic forest, despite the fact hundreds of species of plants and animals have become extinct, despite the people who are battling to save the remaining forest fragments and the species that are hanging on there, the same mistakes that destroyed the Atlantic forest are happening again, this time in the Amazon. This is Manaus. Two hours flight from its nearest major city, it sits on the banks of the Amazon River. It is the home to one and a half million people. At one time, it was called the Paris of South America. It even had an opera house. These buildings were prefabricated in Europe and shipped out. This is where rubber was discovered. There was a time when businessmen who lived and worked here would send their laundry back to London to be done. Extravagance in the extreme. Those extravagant days are gone now, or at least for most. Today, Manaus is a busy metropolis that's like any other big city in the world. Noisy, busy, and pushing out pollution. And here, despite the fact it's surrounded by millions of square miles of rainforest, plants and animals are on the edge of extinction. This tiny, pied, bare-faced tamarind is a typical example of what is happening to species on the fringes of the Amazon. Its habitat is all but destroyed, and he is becoming displaced, a refugee. Like so many species, this mini monkey's home range is tiny maybe as small as a football field, and it's being forced into the home range of other tamarinds, like these silvery tamarinds, who are very protective of their territory. The Pied Bearface Tamarind's home range used to be where Manaus is today, but Manaus is not the worst case scenario. Around the fringes of the Amazon, huge fires are burning as the landless people and others burn the forest to grow pasture. And in the east, huge tracts of land are being laid to waste by logging companies who are destroying the forest at an alarming rate, much of which is illegal. Corrupt officials turn blind eyes as Indonesian logging companies and others take what they cannot replace. But while in the south of the country, people like Denise Ramboli, Elcides Pisionati, and Eduardo Vido are fighting the odds to save the Atlantic rainforest species, here too in the Amazon, people are seeing the warning signs and are acting, hopefully, before it's too late. It's possible that the species are going to be extinct before they uh, are discovered. Betty Rusmal and her husband house the spider monkeys, a cousin of the woolly spider monkey that lives down south. These red-faced spider monkeys live in a cage in her backyard. These are being rehabilitated and will eventually be released back into the Amazon. She says people are becoming aware of the plight of the animal, and often people will knock on her door and leave them with a sick or injured animal. It was one such encounter, in fact, that led to the discovery of a new species of spider monkey. 
one of those species that is found to be endangered even before it's named. Yeah, I think there are um, many, many other species to discover. And not only uh, uh, monkeys, because when we did um, um, research about plants in Suriname, we also discovered new plants. This white-capped spider monkey, who has taken a serious liking to her German shepherd, was brought in because he was sick. Her husband, who is a primatologist, immediately recognised it as a new species and took it in. This is not the first new species he has discovered. On an expedition into the interior in 1998, he found this tiny family of mini monkeys. Again, like the white-capped spider monkey, it was named and declared endangered. 